Order accepted. Control group cloning is an advanced version of basic cloning, which is described in How to Clone Number 1. If you haven't watched that already, pause this video and go check it out. Welcome back. Using control groups to clone orders comes from Brood War. Four control groups are used to split Scourge into groups of two to target science vessels before the Terran had a chance to kill them off. We can use the same technique in Ling Bane Wars and ZVZ. The main advantage of control group cloning over normal cloning is that actions are taken out of the sequence required in battle and prepared ahead of time. This is especially useful in Zerg vs Zerg because speedlings on creep are one of the fastest units in the game. There's often not much time to shift click the wireframe out of your selection and pull it back to beta bailing detonation. First, let's look at the actions required without the use of control group cloning in a standard baiting situation. First, the zerglings are sent at the enemy baneling. Next, one zergling is shift clicked out of the selection. Last, the remaining zerglings are pulled back. The middle step often causes the most trouble because the mouse must be moved from the battle on the main screen to the wireframe and back before the zerglings reach the baneling, making this technique only viable when there's plenty of room to micro, requiring a high level of mouse accuracy and speed from the player. To use control group cloning in this situation, select the control group with all your zerglings, shift click one out and create a second control group. When it comes time to micro, select the first control group and target the baneling. At the last moment, select the second control group and pull back. It's possible, although extremely difficult, to repeat this setup for multiple banelings. Start as normal, but shift click a zergling out of your second control group and create a third. Shift click a zergling out of your third control group and create a fourth, etc. When it comes time to micro, target each baneling with your first three control groups, and at the last moment, pull back with your last control group. This is just an example of one way to use control group cloning in StarCraft II. Now that you have a basic understanding of the technique, see if you can come up with other ways to use it and leave your ideas in the comment section below. My name is Jack Attack, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video you would like us to do, please leave with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything beginning with letter C in the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.